Just hold on. Yo, please. Yo, hold on. What the heck? I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? I'm away, Plankton. Ooh. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about it. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. My air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a way around my neck. It took everything that I had to endure that weight. To survive chapter one. Oh. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. So, what are you going to do now? Ooh, calling everyone out! Just stand here glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. You're right! She's right! Ah! <laughs> Listen to me! Sometimes if you're nervous and afraid, you just have to step forward. Mm -hmm. To forget some of the fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Punish me. This dude wants someone to pun punch him for that. Perhaps. But what is the mission exactly? Stupid. To look for a way out. Duh. What the? And we totally need to find what whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the heck out of him. But. But before we do that, maybe we should take out uh, take a look at the handbook. Yeah, please look at the handbook. It's probably best to check the school regulations. Monokuma mentioned before mentioned before doing anything this else. Is fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue about what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Mm. Mm. Susume reside only within the school, leaving campus and Okay, unacceptable, of course. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. But you could be awake outside night hours. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak, Hope's Peak Hammy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited. Oh really? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Okay, so you can kill someone, but you may not be decide to make sure you don't get caught. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Around. This is whack. What the heck kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then why don't you wander around the school without care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I'd love to see what happens if someone breaks one of the rules. However, but he got punished like that, what we saw before. I don't think there's the a respawn, but yeah, he's not gonna respawn. Yo. <laughs> he saw his face for a second, he was like, oh yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And? Yeah, what does that have to do with this? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit. So I can't afford to die in here. <laughs> None of that made sense to me, but you're saying, but what? But you are saying you will follow those regulations. Is that That's it? True. Yeah. Okay. What's up? For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? That one. Anyone who kills a fellow student will become blackened. Will graduate unless they. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding it out it was you. But, but why? Why do we ha have to do that? <laughs> I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've explained to us. Such. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab me. Give me a break. <laughs> she like that? <laughs> More like a full on stab. Well, for now, let's forget that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True, we need to find out exactly wh where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What kind of food about food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need answers. Let's do it! Dang straight. Okay, let's start looking around. Hmm. I'll be going alone. What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and take them? It's easier for them? Well, if you're in a group, I mean, if he wants to go by himself, okay, let someone else go by himself, and then someone else dies, who are we gonna blame? You? This dude. Hold on a second. That would never. What? 
don't bother saying anything that couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. I really want someone to punch him in the face. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? He's going to be smug about it. So simply acting in accordance with what you think is best for me? Just hold on. Yo, please. Yo, hold on. What the heck? I'm going to let you run off and do whatever you want? What? Out my way, Plankton. Ooh. What? Are you going to take that, man? What? What the heck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. I'm gonna kick your butt. Please do. Makoto! Man, you some kind of goody goody. Oh my gosh. Whoa. The command. Okay. You wanna throw down? What do you think? You're all talking to me like that. You think you're my dad or something? Whoa. No, no, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. Is this one beat me up? <laughs> what? He punched me. Makoto, throw a punch back, man. And I flew back in a heap. If you could get up, it was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was suddenly right here in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Why did you say something, man? Now you knocked out. After hearing that people were killing you? Oh, no. Not a nice situation. When I finally opened my eyes, what I saw was, what did you see? Oh, his dorm room. Yeah. Huh? W where am I? As if I had been become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room i never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use it to check a variety of information you play. Okay, so we have the map here. Truth, bullets, presence, report cards, review the report cards for each student at Hope's Peak. Can I check that out? This leaves ball. He's 6'1? Yo, yo, Makado is short. Yeah. Like, of course he got flung in the, uh, flung across the room by this moon, mon, what was, what was Mondo like? So we even got cameras in our room, so I can't even change in private. It's a notepad. I guess the school might have given one to each of us. Okay, is there anything on it? In fact, nice. Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Yeah, keep your room clean. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. This would appear to be the bathroom. But it's locked. It's not opening. Is someone in there? This made the key to the room. The name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? This is what I missed. Looks something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new and still has a shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than the dorm will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell un unconscious. So that answers the question. The next question is, what's everyone else do up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Okay, now I can leave. I rushed out the room to meet up with the others. <laughs> but there's someone waiting for me. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Oh, hey, Ayaka. Or Sayaka. <laughs> My mistake. Sorry, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Saika? Are you hurt? <laughs> Yo's voice. <laughs> hmm, you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built a 
built some pretty good muscle jumping in down on stage. Yeah, up and down stage. That's good then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right here, right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool from the beginning. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Hmm. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um, oh, you came to get me for what? You came to get me? Um, listen. If you're really feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found. So does it mean that it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. Who brought him back to his dorm room though? That's good. I'll go ahead and meet you in the dining hall then. I guess I'll find out in the dining hall who brought me. Who's, who's my neighbor? Kyoko. And we got this dude. Okay, so I got some I got some interesting roommates. Okay. Yeah. But you this is really the dormitory dining hall. Um. Looks pretty clean, so that's good. Er, I guess that's not really important right now, but with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Well, actually, that is kind of important. Imagine being you're in prison, but the place is nasty. I'd rather it be clean, at least, you know? Nobody was, I mean, try, I'm trying to be optimistic, at least look at the pros. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Hmm, okay, we'll just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously. Let's have a major intuition. Is it really just intuition? Mm. This is kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk to you about reactions. Um. This is... Now this is kind of... Yeah, I want to ask something. What do you want to ask me? Blackroot Junior High? Yes, let's get this background going. Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually I was. Oh, oh, I know you. <laughs> I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates around surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as though as surprising as her question was. That she remembered me? Hey, Makoto! <laughs> it's, it's because of your height. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I was just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Hmm. Well, that's true, but there are lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to never stand out. I'm average at everything, and my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would co What's a normal hobby, man? You're so strange. Strange that... <laughs> she started googling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know someone here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about this. You're amazing, Makoto. I don't trust you, though. You could kill me any moment. <laughs> you could stab me in the back down the road. Now I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not that any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And thank you for helping me out. I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out, out as much as I can. So let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... It just gets me pumped up! Haha, -ha, okay. Which is nice, but still. Everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There's me a clock around here somewhere. Yeah, we got a clock over here. I'll check out the clock in a second. So I want to see if there's anything else I can check out in the room. So I already talked to her. Um, what's this exactly? I'm not going to wander around. I'm just going to wait here patiently. Um, so what time is it right now? 7 o'clock at night. And curfew is at... Or night or sleep time is what? At 10? Whatever they call it. Um. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. Wait a second. That was like 8 in the morning. 
He was knocked out for that many hours? Man. I see. Without being able to, able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. I have to say, this place is too long. I can't- if I have to stay in this place for too long, I might go just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he- he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors, right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Hey, hey! Makuza, Sayaka, so you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. But I guess it means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got he is. So he has too much energy. He's too hungo. Like, well, I don't want to give up. Next time I swear, I win no matter what it takes. Just the shout always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. It looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Of course, that dude's back there sitting by himself with the other girl there. He's probably going to use her or manipulate her or something for his own benefit. Okay, share what we found. Around. Okay. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Yeah, what? Oh, yeah, she's not here. She's not here. Oh, yeah, Kyoko. What about her? She's not here. Is she dead? I'll be mad if she's kind of dead low key. She's, she was kind of cool. I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Could, could it be because... Yes, indeed. Someone killed her? Mm. <laughs> hmm. Already? My dad be... That's insane. Is it possible? Was she really... No, no, I'm just overthinking things. It's not impossible. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko, you're gonna be late like this on the first day of school? Yo, this dude. <laughs> Not only this late, she didn't tell anyone that she would be late. It's almost it's, it's most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackhole right now, you know that? Yeah, chill, man. What do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that I that the first session the host became again everything has not begun. Um. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> hmm, you know? Huh, what's up? I feel like I really become your personal assistant, don't you agree? Why do you really want to become my personal assistant? Like some childhood crush and stuff? I don't trust you. <laughs> what? Watching that she's actually the most trustworthy person? <laughs> I don't know though, I, I, I'm, I'm the skeptic like that. I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I've given everything I've got. No, you already done so much as my assistant. Wait, now I gotta talk to everybody. Hey, yeah. Okay, first one I want to talk to is you, Mundo. I wanted to talk to Mundo first. I have to talk to. Okay, I guess I have to work my way around. <laughs> because I, yo, I straight up don't talk to him. Square up. <laughs> round two. Okay. Um, but no one else I could talk to though. Um. Let me say what's been going on. Okay. You see. Buyaka and Taka went off on their own. Both of these two went on their own. Interesting. I'm curious to see where Taka went, not necessarily Buyaka. Actually, did Buyaka, well, he went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Oh, hold up. Kyoko, she also, okay, so those three went off their own, okay. I'm going to see where Taka went. I'm more curious about Taka. Let's, oh. Oh, I just have to ask him. Okay. Since I'm looking around the dormitory and. That man's covering the center. I found out there is. Exactly what I feel like Buyaka wouldn't tell me anything to an extent. They may okay. One room for each person. Uh, yeah. No kidding, man. Okay, so we have everyone with the keychain, which confirmed that the room I was in earlier is in fact my room. But why was there a bathroom locked? And Chihiri and I found out that all the rooms are soundproof. All the rooms are soundproof. Okay, so she wants her. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs at you when you hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Who brought me to my room, though? But it looked like there were only locks in the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Only locks in the bathrooms in the girl bathrooms in the girls' dorms. So then, why was my door locked? Was that really my room? But when I checked my bathroom before door before, it was definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that hey, later. Come on. Okay. Okay. So they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're going to be here a while. Down and well, better that. <laughs> Yo, chill. 
Better to have that have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. That can't be all you have to report, can it be, Mister Honor? Okay. Got it. That's all for my report. Let's all move on to. Okay, who, who's next? Okay, what about you? Since I got it, since I want to, I wanted to try and find some clues on who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made some such discoveries. That's all for me. I knew you wouldn't give crap, man. Really? That's it? Hm. If I'd uncovered anything naturally, I would become have more to say. So I didn't. So I don't. But would you really? Would I? I don't really tell people half the truth, not gonna lie, personally, because I don't trust anyone here. You see. Okay, and then it continues on. Okay, no. Look like Leon Shiro and all split up together. So Leon, Hero, Junko, and she here. Okay, interesting group right there. Down the hallways, double checking the windows, all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was hmm. nothing at all. Nothing, but not okay. They couldn't get any of them what off. I do? There wasn't any hope to escape anywhere. The school really hasn't been cut off. This is bad. Mm-hmm. Bad, 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 bad. Mm-hmm. Hina Sakura and Mondo also went together. So let's suck on Hina. Okay. Let's see where they went for it. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with outside so we went all went looking over Sorry. we didn't find anything okay yo i went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal what maybe with soccer what? and me we both wouldn't budge okay <laughs> Shit. Yes, so they all tried it well it is metal yeah oh, this sucks mm, i feel like i could cry last man my hydration so I should tell you what happened next. Okay. It has nothing to do with the communicate with communicating with the outside world. But it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there there was a set of stairs leading to another floor. What? But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we didn't check out them out. Hmm. In other words, at this point we were only able to search the first floor. Yeah, because there's the bars on the door on the thing. However. We can't further assume that there is a point. Potentially something above the second floor as well. Yeah, what is up there? If that's the case, there is at least a chance that may lead to a way out. Interesting. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent some time, time in the gym. Honestly, we are not exactly the type to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, what? <laughs> if you <laughs> invited me. Push yourself. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't. I can't with this girl here. I mean, I feel bad that you want. I mean, it's like you want to be invited, and yeah, you. And, but you can't always wait for someone to invite you. You know, sometimes you just have to push, take your step forward. But at the same time, I mean, it's not. It's still not easy. What the? But if you want to go with someone, you should have said something. Forget it. Like if I want to go anywhere. With Whoa. Your mind is as thin as your body. You'd been make sick. <laughs> yo, don't. Yo, you're about to get beat up. Are you for real? I don't know how to react. I can't say something off to someone you just met. Hey, come on. All right, guys. Everyone, just calm down. All this stress is bad for your skin, you know. <laughs> yo, man. Aww. Yeah, it sounds like you two are close now that you're fighting like sisters. That is messed up. Yeah, that oh go that jealousy right there. Okay. Um. I went and looked had to look around the dining hall, around the fridge and back to the kitchen and was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. So I had to be um Kyoko who brought me that's her name, right? Who brought me to the um to my that's room. Good. I guess we don't or maybe I assume at least. What? Sure for now. But even with that all that, there were fifteen of us. How long can the food last? You can just eat sesame seeds or something. What? I'm a parakeet? I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um, At least that's what Monokuma said. Yep. Uh -huh. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of while, nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that. Then disappeared again. He was so fast. I can't believe someone could have been moving around with a re remote control. A weaponized toy that can appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But was everything okay? 
He didn't try to act like try to like eat you or anything. Huh? Eat her? You mean by that? I mean when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Yo, why you guys? <laughs> Yo, that's sick. That's <laughs> eat what? What are you eating? Some cake? Like, oh. come on, hey, man. Bastard. The heck, <laughs> Fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Yeah. Actually. Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. You're right, there is no good kind of drunk dude. Hey, stop cruising around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here, we could just die any second. She's right, we can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... A voice cuts through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending a splendid time yelling and carrying on. Huh? Oh, that's her talking. <laughs> Do you really think that you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. What? What is this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Academy. Yo, I've been had that. A map? What the? Where did you find this? Well, it doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter. You're freaking us out right now. But more important. I think it is important where she got it. Where did she get it? Where was she the whole time? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out the precise same way the Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is the whole Peak Academy. It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't really know the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. Or at least a place that looks like it, or something like that. So stupid. It's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Hey, come on guys, let's stop talking all this about all this. You know, negative stuff. Well, he wants to have positive vibes. But aren't you worried things don't look good? Yo. Worried? What's it to be worried about? I mean, this is all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put all this together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every, every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out my mouth. Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> He's quite... optimistic. What's your problem? <laughs> I'm just so happy that is. That is all. It seems splitting up and investigating was a good idea after all. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find any way out. We didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's good going on. Oh. Uh huh. Is that crystal clear? It's not. Yeah. Are you okay with this? Ooh. It's perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. It's pretty clear what's going on. What are you talking about, Toko? None of us have had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality. This song right here is nice. But it was star staring us right away in the face. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go and say that. I was just trying not to think about it. No, no way out? We're trapped here? What are we, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Whoa, it's not even a joke, it's serious though. Uh, Everyone calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... Hmm. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability? A lack of survivability? Survival is not based on though on who is strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means that we will sp be spending the rest of the night. However, you all remember the rules regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Yeah. Sleeping anywhere other than dormitory will be, will be, yeah. Let's see. So we're going to the nighttime. I think we need to add a rule of our own. 
What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. Hmm, like, it's like I was saying, yo, before the other rule, there's that, like, other part of that. Gorillas do not actually tell us not to go out at night. Yeah, you just can't sleep outside at that time. So, I saw your dormitory huh? at the time. Yeah, Are you I noticed okay that this? too. The way things are now, every time nighttime comes, we will all start getting worried and anxious. We will not be afraid someone might try and, and come kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, we will it will wear us down at no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure? Indeed. Rever, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree and follow it. I see, what do you mean? But I think I can agree to that. It's, it's like a little goth leader said, without some something like that, we're just going to self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree completely. On behalf of all the men here? Who <laughs> You can't talk for me. Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement. Good? Hmm. <laughs> If you will excuse me, mm -hmm. I'm going to my room. Hey, wait, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. Mm. Yeah, because it was what, eight? So they probably been sitting here for what, 45 minutes, an hour maybe? So it's like nine, close to nine at that point. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um. So, so I guess it's pretty obvious where to go from here. I'll be spending the night. It looks like huh. adaptability. Hmm. <laughs> so, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Uh, um. Well then, what say we call an end an to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can't reconvene first thing tomorrow. Huh? We can reconvene. Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We have a choice. We can't wait. Yeah. This. Yeah. What else do you want us to do? This sucks. This does suck. Then we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their own private rooms. Um... Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm back in my room. Mm. Is this really where I'll be staying for the, for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right, I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. All the girls' bathrooms should have locked on, locks on them, right? But mine has a lock. All right, let's open it up. It's no use. It's really locked. Loki, that kind did scare me. <laughs> Biz, wrong answer. Not locked. Oh crap! Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Where did you appear, though? Like some kind of robot's ghost? Well, what are you doing here? Bakuto Denji, this is a super duper major, majorly bad. So bad, almost magical. Ultra magic, magical. Man, this song. Okay, uh -huh. I'll attack. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open is just because it's locked? The door doesn't just fit? Hey, um... Just doesn't fit? Okay. Did you see the notice? What? You can't you read? The other thing that the boys' rooms had don't have locks. I mean, the lock on the boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Well, it's not that pointless, I guess, but I'm not sporting the birds and the bees and all that. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, there's a little <laughs> trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. So it's turn and pull. Okay, one of those type things. Okay. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> opened right up. Isn't that crazy though? Your door's the only one that doesn't quite fit right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Ha ha ha! Yo, that that's kind of fun. At least I don't suddenly feel like I belong here anymore. Okay. Hey, wait! Dang it! It's already ten. Nighttime. Or no message. Okay, what's up? Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now ten p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. 
Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Mm -hmm. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. It looks like a nightmare. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. We still have mom I while still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. If I was it was as if I'd spent the entire day staring at the TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed uh, into a made up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept a situation of being suddenly dropped into. Mm-hmm. So this is how the curtains closed for my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. It would be too much to hope for when I woke up, I'd realized it was all a dream. It's kind of lame as far as endings could go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. It ain't no dream, man. This is reality. Thank you for tuning in, checking this out. Um, first, first Danganronpa stream. Yo, I'm glad, I'm glad it turned out well. Peace and out.